The markets are currently in a sea of red. Have we finally reached the cycle top or are we about to start a new trend? In this video, I will tell you where I believe we currently are in the market cycle and where I think that we could be headed next. If that sounds good to you, make sure that you like, subscribe, and watch until the very end. My name is Kyle Chasse, and I've been in crypto for nearly 10 years. I've been building the entire time, and I'm here to show you what's going on behind the curtains in the world of crypto. So should we panic now? Are we at the cycle top? I'm gonna tell you kind of what I tell people that I talk to every single day on the phone. Here at Paid Network, we do a lot of IDOs and a lot of projects come to us and they want to kind of hurry up and get their public sale done because they believe that maybe we're near the end of the bull cycle. And I'll let you know what I tell them. As long as the Federal Reserve and every other bank around the world continue to inflate the money supply, the institutional and enterprise investors, pension funds, banks, governments, things like that will have enough time to basically do the research of where they should hedge their reserves in case of hyperinflation or fiat debasement. Look at what happened in Venezuela over the past five years or so. The inflation has been inflated like a million percent, right? So we have seen that institutions, governments, rich people have seen what's been happening in third world countries and they're preparing and saying, we should do something. So they're looking for alternatives and they're putting their money in Bitcoin. We saw Michael Saylor, the first, the first guy who had the balls to put his reserves into Bitcoin and he basically open sourced his playbook. He said that it took three months and millions and millions of dollars for him to figure out how as a publicly traded company to put their company reserves from fiat into Bitcoin. And then he went and open sourced that to, and had a conference, 7,000 different institutions were in attendance learning how Michael Saylor did that. Now, as he said, it takes months to go through that whole process for a publicly traded company to put your balance sheet, to put your reserves of cash into Bitcoin. And that was recently. So we are starting to see and will be seeing over the next year or two, different institutions and enterprises, pension funds, things like that, putting their money and reserves into Bitcoin. And we will continue to see the entire crypto market follow Bitcoin as it rises up. Now, a lot of you guys know about the stock to flow ratio from plan B, which has been spot on accurate up until this point. In that chart, it says that a good median that we might approach at the kind of pinnacle of this bull market would be around $300,000, $330,000 for Bitcoin. We're nowhere close to that. Additionally, the market trend has been going up in a nice linear fashion of growth. We have this pullback that you're experiencing right now, and that is healthy. That is healthy. If you started to see parabolic growth for weeks on end, that is when you want to be cautious. So that's what I tell people that come to me that are worried about this bull run ending anytime soon. I don't think it is. I think it's just kind of getting started. In fact, it feels a lot like early 2017 to me, which means I think that we have potentially another year or two in this bull market and we're just kind of getting started. We're still very early. We haven't even seen retail FOMO in yet and we're just kind of starting to see institutions FOMO in right now. They're seeing the success that you know Michael Saylor's had, that, that Tesla has had with their buying of Bitcoin and the success that they've had. So. Basically, I think we're just getting started. So more evidence about where we are in the adoption cycles. We're still in the early, the early adopters phase, right? We had like the innovators early on, which are people like myself who were trying to build stuff back in 2013. And we had like Vitalik and everyone else building, right? But now we're in early adopters, but we're in early adopters still, maybe kind of creeping into the early majority. But you know, the, the fact of the matter is, is that most of the people on the planet have now heard about Bitcoin, but most of them still have no idea what Bitcoin even is. Furthermore, they have no idea what altcoins are. And in my opinion, I know that decentralized systems are better than centralized and all of these really solid altcoin projects will be adopted one day. Why? Because they're more efficient than centralized systems. They have value creation versus in a traditional system, value extraction. And I can get into that in another video. Make sure that you subscribe to learn more about all these kind of things that I'm talking about that maybe don't quite translate to you today. Bitcoin and, and, and altcoins are not going anywhere. People are now just starting to get comfortable with Bitcoins. In fact, I believe that today Venmo is starting to accept cryptocurrency, which is a huge news. We have PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Fidelity, like everybody, right? So it's not going anywhere. And the more that this happens, the more that big institutions, governments, banks, 
things like that start announcing their support, Bitcoin goes from being the weird Silk Road, bad kind of stuff to more legitimized and people have that stigma fades away and more and more people feel comfortable with it. Additionally, a lot of you and people like myself who were involved in 2017 and who had this huge you know, market correction in 2018 are kind of expecting and we all have, trust me, we all have PTSD, right? We all, we all were rich and then we all became broke very quickly in January 2018. And so a lot of you are scared, like you're feeling that right now because we're in a sea of red. And, uh, but my, my opinion is that we probably aren't gonna see this huge major correction. Why? Because institutions and smart money are buying up Bitcoin right now. In 2017, it was led by retail FOMO, a bunch of kids in their basements who were spending their allowance on Bitcoin, making enough money to buy a Lambo. And then when things got rocky, uh, everyone panic sold because they didn't understand what Bitcoin was even. They just got rich off of it. It's kind of like Dogecoin pumping and dumping every single day. People have no idea what they're doing. But now all of the adoption is being led by smart money. Researchers and analysts going in and they're making sound decisions, meaning that they're doing tons of research. And when a company, an institution or pension fund or whatever go to buy a large amount of Bitcoin, $10 million, $100 million, a $1 billion worth, you better believe that their plan isn't to trade it. They're buying it for the long haul. So I don't believe that we're gonna have a major market correction like we did in 2018, definitely not 85%. In my opinion, what may happen is we might start to see this level of adoption happening right now at like institutions and, and maybe some pension funds coming in. And then it might plateau, like I said before, maybe it's 300K, 330K. And I think that we're gonna kind of plateau. Maybe we see a little bit of a pullback, pull but I think it's gonna be a, t a period of consolidation before we see the next wave adoption. And that's gonna be things like governments and central banks and things like that that are gonna have it on the reserves as Bitcoin becomes a world reserve currency. So you better believe that institutions like Venmo, like Fidelity who manage trillions of dollars under management for their rich customers, they wouldn't be encouraging so strongly and supporting so strongly things like Bitcoin and Ethereum adoption if they believed that Bitcoin or Ethereum or even the crypto market was gonna drop 85% tomorrow. Look, volatility is completely normal in a bull market. Look at 2017. In fact, I feel like we are early 2017 in the current state of the bull market. Do you agree with me? Or do you think that we're somewhere else? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel because I've got another video coming to you this week that you will not wanna miss.